bunch of this town off this big hour of box. Uh, we still got plenty of Tylenol, Grandpa. We still got plenty of uh, Tylenol. Like it's fucking bullshit. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to, to, to take uh, what I what the usual dose I got was. Goddamn child. Somebody's child that's fucking big fella low blow fucking for months. But me and Kansas Little Man used to be close to y'all. He did the same thing to Sean Paris. Stabbed Sean Paris in the back. There's several others I can speak names of that he that Kansas has stabbed in the back. Just so he can get close to fucking Ryan or get close to people. Like y'all think these people are fucking real fucking motherfuckers. They are fake as fuck. The gels are probably better and not as not as hard on my. We can get the, I can get the Rexall off brand gel caps. Are cheaper. If they do, yeah, I, yeah. If you can get, if we can, if you are out there and you see them cheaper, of course, Grandpa. We got to do what we got to do. Like you always in our fucking water district. We don't have to close the bank account, so, you know. You sit there. And you sit there. Oh, but they, you know, they're going to help me get a job as soon as I graduate. Uh, she assured me of all that earlier, and we talked about it, and I signed it and everything else. So, school is a complete go. And funded. And then justice. Justice, you, you, Justice, you are a real big backstabber. Bad, bad. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers better just get the, get the fuck away from you. I like fucking run like shit type shit. Get the fuck away from this woman. I'm telling y'all, like this girl was obsessed with me. Justice was. Like, she would call me every single day. I would have to tell her, like, fucking, I'd have to tell Tamara, but, like, dude, get this woman off the phone with me. Call her and tell her that you need to talk to her or something. Get her off the phone with me because she want to sit on the phone for fucking hours. And all she wanted to talk about was fucking, uh, was getting people's IP, IP addresses and shit. Hmm. She, and she knew how to do with computers and shit. Like, y'all don't know the whole fucking truth, y'all. Y'all are getting on your fucking Hey, Britt's life. What's up, Britt? What you're getting. Like, yeah, Justice is going to say, yeah, I've been waiting for this shit. What's yeah, up, I've been Mike? For this shit. Get your hero on. <laughs> hey, bro, you, you got to tell me how you make that camera zoom like that, man. Hey, you right. I've been cornered. I've been cornered too much by these motherfuckers. And it ain't been just one or two. It's been fucking 10, 20, fucking whatever coming after 50. You, you know what I mean? 50, 100. You're right, babe. You're right. And I, I was man enough to fucking go on here. Uh, and somebody tell me how he gets. Still make it look how like does he get that, that zoom in feature? Or, That's what I guess he's got a professional I, like, uh, uh, no, no, camera that does it or something. Way before Texas Rebel. Way before it. Go watch my video. Was Go good watch my video. Go there. No, no, all his content fucking Power Stroke has and fucking and, and his daddy has is motherfucking PBR. And, and they're done with him because they fucking caught because he fucking found out he because he fucking doxed him. He fucking doxed Frankie. Power Stroke. Yeah, he's, he's so in love. That's why they bring up the obvious, because they have nothing else better to talk about. I'd like to say that I fucking brought a community together after a fucking devastating fucking situation. A devastating situation, like a fucking, I brought fucking Creek Squad together. Like, I brought <laughs> these motherfuckers together. When I mean, oh, way, yeah. You kind of did. I mean, the growth. Of Creek Squad extended after the whole Johnny and Upchurch feud. Um, 
but I've I've been said this, and I'll say it again. Patty Lynn came out with that video, and we know which one. That was the day I said Creek Squad is gonna start falling apart from the inside. It's gonna start falling apart. And what do you guys see happening? I'm just saying. When they was tearing fucking people apart and fucking brought everybody together, I was this was positive vibe gang. If y'all remember right, it was positive vibe gang. Gang, gang, gang. That's what we was about. Positive shit. But people expect me to sit there and take the disrespect and not say one word about it. There's no Look. You can be positive and still stand up for yourself. So you got your stream elements store. That's cool. But you know, in Lion Watcher, you don't. You, 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 I, I, what I don't get about this guy is he acts like you know he was telling me you call the cops and that's it. Well, obviously that's not it because they hadn't stopped. Just like Johnny's talking. Just because you're that—that's how I man. I can't watch. I stand it up for yourself does not make you not being positive. You don't have to roll over like a fucking dog. Oh, really? Well, shit. Why Why did you uh, side with me in this side with Workyverse, Enlightened Watcher? You've played the flip-flop game, too. I think everybody has. Because you, it's not always clear what side is right to choose, obviously. To, because you're positive? Fuck that bullshit. I ain't rolling over like a dog for nobody. Shit, I don't even roll over like a dog for my own damn girlfriend. The fuck? Never a day in my motherfucking life. But I'm still positive. I, I still put forth trying to bring positive energy and telling people that they can, you know, oh, no. go for their dreams, go for their ambitions. You know, bring some positive motivation. Tell people what they can do. The, the brain, uh, the, dude, the, the human brain is so fucking powerful that a lot of people don't understand. Like, even words. Words are so fucking powerful. If you tell yourself you're going to fail all the time, you're going to fail. If you dude, well, you're preaching exactly, well, I don't know about preaching, but you're... Everybody's went on a good trip today. It seems like everybody's on, like they're on their preaching mode. You flip that shit, and you 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 start believing you're gonna be successful. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Whatever your ambitions are, and you put that in your mind, and you do the things you need to do to achieve your goals. You're gonna fucking do it. And all at the end of the day, those are all words you told yourself. That made you do it. And so, it's just, it's crazy. You don't have to. Just play it smart. Strategies to everything. Yo, in every war, there's multiple battles. Every war you ever go through, there's multiple battles. You might lose one or two battles. Just because you lost one or two battles. Yeah, and I'm not subscribed to him. And that's fine that he's got subscribers only mode on. We're going to go back over to Mike's and smoke one with Mike. I me mean, online, bro. To make up lies about me. He's paying people out here to make up goddamn lies about me, bro. You think my ex-wife ain't gonna jump on that shit she had? All she talks about is fucking money, y'all. All she talks about is fucking money. She was talking about tonight. She... I see you using Streamlabs too, Mike. That's what's up. She said she's gonna box Johnny Cash for five for the five grand that he's offering me. My ex. Going somewhere with your bad self. Take your dick, you do yeah, it. Shout out to American Outlaw TV for for helping me out with my stuff, man. I, I ain't gonna forget. American Outlaw Tru uh, TV, uh, Truth Finders, another one of his channels. I, I want to give him a shout out. I think he's 
unfortunately might be blocked. There's nothing against him, and I'll, I'll unblock you, dude, if, if, if you promise not to be on no bullshit, because I, I do remember when people help me. Oh, oh, damn, sound worse, Dan. <laughs> oh, I see. Somebody needs to boot my ex. Six find X Y Z. That's my back. My ex, man, she be crazy. He do. Now, bro, you're 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 ridiculous too. And, and that's another thing. Like this dude was in fucking Captain Kirk's live. Hey, that's perfect. This like people torturing a bear in a zoo, hitting him with sticks, poking through the bars every day for years. Bear gets out and kills someone. They blame the bear. Weak ass shit. I mean, that analogy isn't exactly correct. I hope we don't think it is. But, you know, it, it's... I get it. I see he's got that one... He's got the... This Jordan number, whoever that person is. Yeah, they reached out to tell me that um, me giving me my dog CBD was bad. I, I, I didn't know, Brownie. Don't look at me like that. She said it was bad for your teeth, so I stopped giving it to him. He just gets uh, hemp seed in his uh, calming supplement with valerian root and all that stuff. Valerian root's been used for away. sedative for a long was time. Letting him talk in the chat. If Johnny Castro was in my fucking chat, he would he's blocked on my channel. This dude no is shit. blocked on my channel. No shit, dude. He 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 painted a picture of you getting fucked up the ass as a turkey in jail. I mean, even I gotta say that was fucked up. Cashville, that that was fucked up. He should be blocked on yours too. If you're any fucking part of Crip Squad, Johnny Castro should be blocked. He shouldn't be fucking talking in your chat. And that's just facts. Yeah, but, uh, bro, that, uh, man, I got some sad news for you, Johnny. You know, you can wish things were fair in one hand and shit in the other, and I promise you, just guess which one you think's gonna fill up faster. What does mine say? And that's facts, facts. Huh? That's facts, facts. That's what I'm saying, Fear uh, We know that fucking Ryan had a falling out with Johnny Cashfield, so why in the fuck are you letting him fucking talk in your chat? Like, fucking weird shit's going on on fucking YouTube streets, y'all. That was it, it's crazy. Crazy. It's proof on it's crazy. to get Johnny Cashfield. Because they threatened me with John Holbrook, and they threatened me with this one. And th threatened me with, it, with that one. Okay. John Hobart gave me a love book, so I don't know. It's all drama, big old bowl drama. That's it. That's right. John Holbrook gave you me a love book. Let me try <laughs> zigzag naturally <laughs> sweet. Mm -hmm. If talking, you paint Bill Kentucky, get, get the fuck out of here. Dag burn. Bye bye, bitch. Go over and suck your buddy's cortex off while he's drinking his uh, liquor. <laughs> Mod who? Yeah, how about some lighters today? I feel you on the lighter struggle, Mike. <laughs> Got the yellow one out. I always get a pack of them. I don't see Sandra. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, I love the smell of bud. There you go. He says, who? You know me, guy. Okay, Sandra, you're, you're a mod. Oh, you're a mod. And you're a mod. And you're a mod. And you're a mod. <laughs> I mean, I do have a lot of support from people. You know what I mean? I've, I've got a lot more support than fucking people think. You know? Yeah, I support you, Johnny. Shit, you just proved that with Miss Patty's message. She said. I mean, y'all do realize that, right? 
this man has proven with Miss Patty's message that the police in his town, like, he came through. He said he was going to get the proof. While it may be not enough for any court or anything, I mean, unless Johnny photoshopped that, that's a screenshot from Ryan Upchurch's mom. Whether they're on good terms now, probably not. I mean, but even she said she didn't care if he shared it. But, uh, they didn't even care. They cared more about meeting Ryan, she, she specifically said in that message, than they cared about Johnny making the threats, or, well, not the threats, but hinting at hitting up Ryan's, uh, younger siblings. Yeah, just a little bit. Because remember, that's why they originally supposedly went down there, was to file charges, but somebody tried, I forgot who all it was, but there was a narrative going around that that wouldn't have been true, they would have just filed where they live, that he went there to box with Johnny, and Johnny wouldn't show up, you know, that, that that's what the, the painted narrative was to public. That's what I got. That's what I still thought and only knew what the story was up until a while ago when I saw Johnny's thing. That's what I say. People believe that I'm always in the know. I'm probably the last one in the know. It's just how it is. Well, then we got 207 people here tonight, y'all. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a talk of the town tonight. Talk of the town, talk of the town, talk of the town. Damn, he act like that means something good. Loves that number. Like I've been the talk of the town for fucking almost a year now. Like it, it ain't never gonna quit, y'all. You get two hundred seven in this real quick. I'm saying it. Damn. <laughs> they wanted, they wanted this. They had this plan. People had this plan anyway. Bullet Point had this plan. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing with his, with his putting his bait on the lure. Like this dude, motherfucker said he fucking put bait on a lure. Motherfucker, you sure the fuck ain't country because you sure don't put a bait. You don't put bait on a lure. You put a bait. You put bait on a not on a lure. A lure is the bait. Okay, that's what I throw out to you is a lure. You know what I mean? And I got you hooked, boy. I don't know about all that. I, listen to this, Tater. Listen, Tater says, Johnny, I would, I would just wear a GoPro uh, now every time you go to the grocery shopping or in town. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, live stream your all whole right. life. Be like that woman on Dr. Phil. Look at this guy. Look at this. Maybe you can make another uh, fight. Like, real talk, dude. You, you started that shit with Keith Frazier, though. <laughs> See, Johnny, you ain't been innocent and everything. Then he said he didn't say it. All right, I will give you this, bro. You you proved the shit about your police. For real. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. You get some good footage. Like, I'll hit Walmart. I'm telling you, Sandra. Yeah, yeah, we would. We get some real good content from Walmart. Yeah, I'm people telling, people you know, gobbling at you content. and everything. Yeah. There, there, good footage there. you have to edit. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> sad, but that's the world we live in. Walmart. Like, <laughs> I mean, I said, I said call, call Sean Holbrook. I guess I can see both sides of the argument. To a point, you putting yourself out there and, and trying to stir stuff up. Which he sure seems real giddy and happy that, that all this stuff is stirred up. You kind of, you know, I, I didn't, I really never wanted the stuff stirred up that, that has been with me. I've, I can honestly and genuinely say I've never liked one second of it. Um, it's been stressful and it's been the only cathartic or remotely, if you could even call them good experiences about this, is the things and lessons I'm learning about life and other people and, and, and so on. And uh, 
and, and I'm knowing a lot more that I never knew, you know, and that's why, you know, Enlightened Watcher was wrong to say, you know, I've talked shit on Johnny and came in there. One, I apologized to Johnny on everything that I was wrong on him about, and I already dealt with that with Johnny. And he sat there and read my message, but, I mean, he still said work he very strong. So what, I, I'm not supposed to have any any uh, feeling about him letting that little slip of a tongue out of his mouth here a while back when he was supposed to be anti-bullying and stuff before all this stuff started? You know, I see you enlightened. You trying to jump on Johnny Train. Like... I'm just reacting to it because it's current. You'll probably say the same thing too, but no, bro, whenever it, it seems like somebody's got something going on, like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I tried supporting you, Enlightened Watcher, and I, I ain't got nothing against you, dude. I understand you was having an argument with your mom's, you know. Ugh. Still, though, I mean, if you're not willing to understand that the way you acted towards your mom and stuff was inexcusable, I mean, it was. I mean, there's just, uh, I, I try to be fair and, and look at everything really from both sides like an impartial somebody who's sitting in the seat of a juror or a judge would have to whenever I'm trying to think about or judging someone's character. I don't just nearly willy judge it. What's up? It's okay. It's okay. Did it disturb you? Ah, You don't lick daddy in the face. Come here. Come here. You wanna lay down? You wanna lay down? Lay your little head down. Come on. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Come on. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good boy. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Yeah. You don't want to see that? Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Lay your little head down. Yeah, he's my buddy. Alright, back to the video. <laughs> I said, call your buddy. <laughs> He'll get you out of it. He'll get you out of it. No Ryan never liked you. They used you because they dropped, uh, dragged PBR as soon as they were done. They turned on you. Sleep with dogs. That's right. You're right. You're right. You could never be more honest. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, drum rock. What's up, Johnny? I wish I could do something to help you out, brother. I mean... Hey, Tennessee Outlaw, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Very sure to hit that like and subscribe, please. Thank you, yo, Spittoon. Appreciate that. I like these, these dudes. Look at these dudes. I'm your dad. <laughs> yeah, they're just jelly. I'm telling you. They jelly roll. <laughs> Wonder who would be the next person they can make content about next month. Hey, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'd like to know. We'll see. We'll see. We don't know who's next. For real. <laughs> it might it might be Captain Kurt next. It might be somebody. They'll turn on somebody in the in, in, in the shit. In the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why uh, would you laugh about that? We'll do a pot leaf on my lunch. <laughs> Damn, no life, Mike. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, don't use lure. <laughs> Jug lines in rivers. Don't use lures. <laughs> You're right. Call Zach. You thirsty? No life, Mike.
Hello, Delilah. Oh, he is? I wish he use, would have used the black square. <laughs> Sorry, I like it better. I'm not getting any video. Wanting to do it. At what price does it come at? What cost are you paying? And what cost are your family and your friends paying? Because Square, it will go deeper. It will go deeper than where it is now. We talked about Blue yesterday. Your boy Blue. That's his YouTube handle it used to be. I don't know. I don't follow him anymore. And he started off you're doing it and you're reaching out to people because it gets boring it gets lopesome i understand that three any attention is better than no attention but we have to ask ourselves still at what cost all i'm saying i understand that you take care of your grandfather i understand that at that moment in time your grandfather is all you have and vice versa. I understand that sometimes it feels like a prison within your home because you're confined due to uh, automobile issues, travel issues, uh, financial issues. At what cost are you paying? And what price are you paying? By and what price are you paying? What are you talking about? My advice to you, Square, is do away with YouTube. YouTube sucks. I'll be the first to say YouTube sucks. Start your Facebook group. Make it a private group where you invitation only, where you have to invite these individuals in. And then do, do your live stream from Facebook, from your Facebook group. If you want to earn money on the side, like everybody wants to start in YouTube, set you up a Patreon. Do a Patreon account where they have to pay you so much monthly and then you can send a link to them privately to your member group on facebook where they can join you in live yeah i'm not gonna watch uh, live chats. i'm not gonna and, watch this but as time progresses and time keeps going on they're going to realize that all of this can be prevented if you just simply stopped youtube that's going to fill their head because they're going to get tired of going through certain situations. They're going to get tired of being called, uh, bothered, or harassed. And then they're going to start looking at you, even though it's not your fault at that time. No, no, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Like, here's what you don't understand, Daniel Bishops. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I, why you send Delilah in here to say that, uh, 
he's looking for me like there's a plea for square what y'all don't understand is here what y'all don't understand is is that my counselor and them came over here today and the police are aware now that um these people have impersonated uh, a police account on their youtube so this is probably now went federal and all of this calling and stuff is gonna stop one way or the other i am taking a break from youtube you know when january the 7th mark it down in your calendars january the 7th I will no longer be streaming on YouTube until I get done with school. Now, if they rep that, because see, that's what the ultimate thing is. Is everybody going to say, oh, this could all been avoided if you didn't do YouTube? That, that's bullshit, Daniel Bishop, and you should know it. Do you think somebody like Filthy Animal, who says he owns me and is truly got a group i mean it's almost domestic dare i say terrorism what he's doing to me my grandfather and the other individuals that have to deal with this elsewhere and in this county that are getting the actual full effects all are y'all all y'all are doing is watching from the outside because it's not affecting you fully within because you're not me and you don't react to things like I am and you're not being disparaged and done the way I am. You may have other heat coming at you and I understand YouTube sucks. It's not the best. Facebook isn't no pie in the sky either, Daniel. I had a Facebook and thought about streaming from there. Guess what? They got the video. I deactivated my Facebook on the direction of Icefan because I was scared of them using it, getting more of my personal information without having to dig, hack, or do whatever illegal shit they do, like getting people's personal phone numbers. And I am completely fucking mad. Completely mad. That you even got the audacity to suggest that now to me, Daniel Bishop. Don't y'all understand that I've had this account since 2009 and I've not violated it. I've had other people try to form bomb me on here, start arguments, everything from in between. All I have ever done is tried to sit on here, discuss my opinion, and be peaceful with people. And if people can't do that, and, or whatever... If I have to keep my phone on, I mean, we're, we're taking proactive measures. Maybe he was just trying to help me, but he wouldn't be going live doing the video like that. Because the way he's doing the video and stuff, he's coming across like, you know, they've really done you wrong, right? Like people have done me. Just forget about it. Like, Filthy just said that something about his dad wasn't a veteran like these people even attack him daniel when are you gonna get it through your head bro that when people start crossing lines to violate and silence you you definitely don't silence yourself for them and give them that benefit and that you know, you, you, you don't ever do that. You might as well tell me I should call him daddy to get him off my back and to get money from the workiverse each month too, almost. I mean, seriously, man. Get that dude out of here. He's regularly been over at Fusions. I know he's one of them. Get him out of here for real. Uh, 
Like, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Huh. When did I ask? I hold on, huh? I'm sorry, Army vet. The only help I asked y'all was to be supportive. I ain't asked y'all for any other help. If you want some help? Report some videos or something. Wow, uh, okay, um, you know, fine. Here, I'll end my stream and I'll just stop coming on here. I'll just give in to him. That's what I should do, right? All right.